Hi and welcome to Pearl Tutorial Part 1. This is my website, scriptsocket.com. It is a uh, free remotely hosted CGI scripts and web tools websites. There is a lot of tools and scripts made from Perl on this website. For example, the Firefox plugins generator. Make Firefox plugins for the Firefox search bar. Logo designer, design logos, graphics, image optimizer, optimize images to smaller file sizes for faster loading, image converter, convert images to different file fil formats, button maker, a lot of things made of pearl. So I will be showing you how to put this kind of stuff together in the next few episodes. The first thing you need to get started in programming Perl is Active Perl. Now this is a program that enables you to run Perl scripts on your computer so you can test them out and see if they're working and everything before you upload them to your website. So the website is activestate.com and here is the address up here in the top right hand corner. Okay, so come on the front page, come down to the bottom of that page and you'll see all downloads. So click on all downloads, scroll down to the bottom of this page and you'll see language distributions, active pearl. Click on get current release. Click on download. Continue. Some optional fields there. Depending on what type of computer you've got, you'll need a different package. But generally, probably for most of us, we'll need the Windows 64 bit MSI package. So click on that one and save that file to your computer. After you've installed Active Perl on your computer, you'll need, if you haven't got already, a Perl editor. Now, uh, my favourite Perl editor, which I've been using for quite a few years now, is the DZ Soft Perl editor. The address is here on the top right hand corner. So come to dzsoft.com and uh, click on the download now. Scroll down click on the download button and save the file to your computer and install. Open up your Perl editor and um, type in print hello world and uh, we will on the DZ soft Perl editor we can click on run in command prompt mode click run and hello world so uh, we're in business here and the next few tutorials I'll begin showing you how to do some cool things with Perl